Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to see how to bring the account and the related contacts to those particular accounts in Accordion using LWC. But before getting started, if you like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So in the previous video, what we did was we built a basic Accordion which is bringing the account. These are nothing but the account check please one, razor pay. These are any 5 random accounts that we are getting from our salesforce org and when i click on this i'm just seeing some kind of static text right i'm just seeing one te static text or something like that right but now in this video what we are going to do is as soon as i click on this drop down or let's say check please one right so uh, i have to check please one i think so and there's a related contact to it or for an example if i go to the razor pay which is coming at the top here right now third account it has contact one as its account right uh, so contact one as its related contact right so when i when i click on this razor pay i should be able to see the related contact over here and if i click on check this one i should see the related contact over here if i click over here i should see the related contact over here so that's what we are going to build in accordion using lwc in this video so let's jump back to our, our code uh, so basically what we are going to do is rather than returning the account only the account we also want the related contact to that account so not only i want just the account i also want the account contacts that are related to that account so one other way to do is this do this is we can use select id comma name from contacts so with the help of this what we can do is we can get the related records using this kind of query with the help of this query what we are able to do is we are getting all the related contacts to this particular account so whatever account we have to query i'm going to query i will be also able to get the related contacts to that particular account using this now once we have got the account and the contact the related contact so all this data is stored inside this particular variable which we will call as this dot data this dot all data right i'm already looping over this dot all data and from this dot all data i'm picking up the account and printing the account name now all i want to do is i want to also print the contact name right so now every account this till this point we are just bringing the account if you see all data will have only the account till this point if you see i'm returning the account so i will uh, the all data which is uh, which is getting populated in the wire will have the data of the account right so i'm looping over this all data one by one and i'm bringing pulling each of these account one by one and I'm showing the name of it. Now I have to get the related contact to that particular account. So there is a possibility, always a possibility that one account can have multiple contacts. So for an example, one account one is it's possible that it can have contact one, contact two, and so on. So it can have multiple accounts, right? So if it is going to have multiple accounts, I will need one more loop to loop over the rest of the accounts that we have. Right? So I'm going to loop over that rest of the accounts that we have using acc dot contacts so what's going to happen is for this particular account which i'm looping over right now let's say a account one i will get all the related contacts using context variable and now once i've got it i'm storing it inside con variable which will be a temporary variable to show the contacts so i'm going to again copy paste this accordion from here and put the accordion within this loop so and the label of this loop would be con dot name and con dot id so using this i will be able to get the accounts and the related contact to those accounts in the single accordion itself so if i refresh this record page if you see as soon as I click on check please one, I'm seeing check please one. If I click on razor pay, in razor pay I have contact one account, right? So that's why I'm able to see the related contact to it. If I click on test, there is no account. If uh, JNAB, if I'm clicking on that, again, I'm not seeing any account at all, right? So if let's say if I add one more account, a uh, contact in the uh, related list of this account, let's name it as test new mister, right? And I'm going to save it. So now if I refresh it under the razor pay, I should see one more contact. So if you see, I am seeing contact one and test new. 
so just the contact that I've added I am able to get that particular contact as well now let's say if you want to add one more loop right if you want if you want to go one more level so what you have to do is you have to always find the parent first right in our case account was the parent object so first you are looping over the account and let's say after that we are looping over contact okay and let's say if you want to loop over one more object we have to find the object which is the child of the contact okay let's say i've created a test underscore underscore c object which is a custom object it is nothing but the child of the contact object so in that cases again i can create one more loop and i can loop over this test underscore underscore z one by one and show it inside the accordion to understand it much more better i will just uh, go through once more what i have done is basically uh, i wanted things to be uh, obtained whenever my component is reloaded or my page is reloaded so what i'm doing is i'm running everything on wire as soon as uh, i reload my component wire gets executed and get account starts executing and from this get accounts i am getting this accordion controller dot get accounts and inside this accordion controller dot get accounts what i am i am able to get is i am able to get the account any five random account along with that i am also able to get i am getting the related contacts to that particular account as you can see over here so once i am doing that i am storing all the accounts and the related contacts inside all data variable now once uh, using this as you can see if uh, my call was successful then i will receive the data or else i will receive an error so as my call was successful all the data that means all the accounts and the related contacts are stored inside this dot all data now as i have multiple accounts what i am doing is i am using template for each and i am looping over that all data one by one which will give me each of the account one by one once i have got this account i am showing it within the accordion now to get the contact related to that account it's very much possible that one account can have multiple contacts that's why i'm using one more template for each right and i'm populating that acc dot contacts that is the related all the contacts inside this template for each and i'm getting each of these contact one by one and then again i'm showing inside the uh, accordion section so the same way you can again go for test underscore underscore or something like that so this is how you can see uh, multi related records in accordion in lwc if you found this video helpful i request you to please subscribe to this channel